Oh, hey everybody, Carl Shu from snorkel.tv. Hey, just a quick video here. We're going to talk about duplicating symbols. Um, here in my movie, I have one little button set up, test it out. We got our up state, our over state, our down state. It's a pretty nice looking button, right? So let's say we want to use more of these buttons in our Flash movie. Um, to make a copy of that button, I could do an option drag move. Bring it over here, eye it out. Now, I want to point out that when I copied that symbol, they're both instances of something called home underscore btn. If I go to double click on this symbol to edit it, you'll notice that we have a layer here for the text, right there. And if I change the text here to say something like, uh, dun, 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 didn't mean to do that maybe about. This is going to be our about button. Well, we go back to scene one, and oh no, they're both now saying about. <sighs> well, the reason for this is whenever we edit a symbol's definition, it updates all instances of that symbol. So if I take the first one here, remember it's still home button, let's just change it back to saying home. Little click. Home. So as I make the changes inside of this symbol, we can see the other instance on the same, also on the stage, also being updated. All right, so that's not what we want to do. Um, if I have this symbol here called Home button, what I can do is just right click on it, and I'm going to select Duplicate Symbol. And now that is totally out of view of the video. Dumb. So let's hack this. Right click. There we go. Duplicate Symbol. If I do that, I'm then asked over here, what do I want to name my symbol? Well, I would call it the about button and hit OK. All right. So now it looks just like the home button because it's an exact duplicate of the home button. But now if I select the first button, that one's home. Second one here is now about button. You'll also see in my library, there's now an about button there as well. So now if I double click on it, I'm going to just change the text to say about. There I go. And maybe I want a button that says news. So I'm going to take the existing about button. If I do an option drag, or if you're on a PC, alt drag, um, I'm just making a new instance of that symbol. So these are both instances of the about button. This one here, let's just move it up to right click so I can see duplicate symbol. And I'm going to call this one here something like, you guessed it, news underscore btn. Hit OK. And then now I just have to double click on this symbol and I can change the text to say news. Go back to scene one. When I click on these symbols, they all are different. This is about, and this one here is going to be news. In the library, it's very neat. All my buttons are named very well. Test the movie out. Now all three buttons have the same over and down states as the home button. So once I've created one button, it's very easy to make copies and change the text. Now putting text inside your button isn't always the greatest idea. As a beginner, you're going to do it, and so this method works pretty well. Um, People will argue you can use action script, blah, 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 whatever. We don't want to code anything right now. So one last time, a little option drag. That was an option. Hold down option, drag, right click. There you can see it, duplicate symbol. And we're going to call it now contact. And why am I typing in uppercase? Contact button, hit OK. Now we have an instance of the contact button. Contact button was built, created in the library. Double click a row, and now we'll do contact. Check it out, test, and now this button automatically behaves exactly like the other buttons. Um, if I wanted to clean up the alignment here a little bit, not a problem. The align panel is sick. Let's just show you that real quick. If everything's out of whack here, I can just select all four of those buttons, go to Align, Command-K will bring that up, and we'll just say, let's space you all evenly, and then we'll align all your top edges. 
Then I can take that whole group as a whole. It looks pretty good, maybe one pixel over, whatever. Test it out, and now I got four buttons that all look virtually the same. All right, so we're consistent, that is key. All right, that wraps it up. Enjoy. How do I turn this thing off?